Yeah. And, and part of that grind is like epic failures or epic bombs on stage. And yeah. every, every comic I ask on here, I ask them a story of getting booed on stage or just yeah. epic failure. I know you've been in like Memphis and you've gotten a fight. You've had to yeah. give people back their money yeah. in some show. Yeah. Is yeah. there one that stands out that you just like, I'll never forget this moment? You know, the toughest one for me, like I got to, you know, admit, probably the toughest one was in New York and it was for a, like an industry showcase and I was oh, there perfect. and it was one of them, you know, one of them ones where you feel like you're going to try to write jokes for the audience, right? So you're going to try right. to change your yourself to fit them and I bombed. I mean, I walked up and bombed and it was like a horrible feeling and Steve was there actually, Harv was there and he literally walked on stage after me and I mean, it's, it's this corporate environment. He cussed they ass <laughs> out. Oh, and, the audience. And they were dying. Like, they just loved the fact that he was just real. Like, and it was right. just like, and he was like, you know, you sitting there in your little, I'm just one of the funniest dudes in the world, blah, blah, blah. He just letting them have it, boom, boom, boom. And that's when he was like, don't go, didn't he? just basically, like, don't ever change, man. Just do you. If that don't work, then it don't work. But don't try to fit in, like, you know. So Big that lesson. was one of the most valuable lessons I took. I mean, of course, you took some L's at many different times, you know. Yeah, we all have. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's the business, you know. Right. I mean, it is that. So, But uh, it was one that, that that particular lesson was one that I was like, okay, I can use that one. Yes. All right. And we're, uh, we're running out of time here. So... Appreciate your time and even doing this before your show here. Yeah, for sure. Just in, in closing here, is there any other closing advice you have for comedians over your entire career you can kind of bestow on them? <laughs> My, you know, the main thing is always try to get as much stage time as you can. I mean, mm. a lot of times people just want to make it, and they have a couple of jokes, and they and they kill it whenever they go on stage, and they believe like that's all that it takes, but. Really, the more that you sharpen your knife, your, your machete, whatever it is that you, when you're on that stage mm -hmm. and have that ability to walk out there, uh, is something that I, you know, always recommend that people just, and you know, don't try to make the money first. You know, Boom. try to, try to be great at what you do first. You know, and then even to this day, I mean, as you can tell, I mean, you can hear from the roar of laughters in the background. <laughs> I, I have a tendency of putting really sharp comics on oh, in front yeah. of me so yeah. that I ha have to go out there and put in the work. Because right. these guys, you know, that's what happens. You can get, you can become a pro and get a little lazy and, and have the expectations of fame. But when people spend their money, they want to laugh and they want to laugh for real. And so I try to put myself in a situation where I have to go in there and do the work. Like it's, these guys, these both Henry and JJ, these yeah. dudes are, they out there throwing rocks at the crowd no. right now, like shit. <laughs> so, so, but uh, but that's it. I mean, yeah. just stay encouraged, stay working, stay in your mindset, and try to stay free of uh, you know independency. Trying to like write things and be true to yourself, and mm. look for the comedy and the humor and the things that happen to you in life. Hot breath. <laughs> Thank you.